I'm in a swap over on the Crafty Swappers UK Facebook page and this one was hosted by Amanda Charlesworth who's a scrimping mummy on YouTube and it was to do a lace, a mini lace book with uh, two pages in it or um, it, her two pages is basically um, like basically it would add up to four but you'll see what i mean in a minute um so this is my entry or not entry my uh my um my fabric book and my swap partner is janet stokes um and i can't remember what her name is on youtube um i think it's let's have a look oh dear Let's go and get a cup of tea in a minute, I think. It is Jan Stoke, J A N S T O K 011. Okay, so that's uh, that's her YouTube. Um, I'll put a link below. Um, okay, so basically, what I've done is if I show you the back first, I didn't really want to decorate. Um, like cover it all because I love the embroidery on this this is like a linen a linen napkin so I folded that in half and then there's like felt in the middle but I wanted to keep the the integrity of the actual napkin because I think it's really pretty so I left the back quite plain so on the front here I've got some mini doilies and then a flower that I've made with a Fiona style bling in the middle and then some um, ribbon roses and then these ribbon roses that are from the range you get them in like a, a glass bottle um, Lynn, Linda Wright sent me some in a swap ages ago and I used them all so then I went back and got some more because I love that and then this applique that I got from China So and I just tried not to hide all of it but it just sort of all fits in quite nicely then open up this page here and then on this page just got a little rosette flower there and then some vintage buttons at the bottom and then use this extra wide lace that I've got I'll show it to you it's, it's like this so I used some of that, or I used that as my, my base to sort of cover the, the felt that's inside here. Then what I did was I um, popped some lace just down here just to sort of cover up the, the join. I've hand sewn it um, down the middle, in the middle here. But um, so, And then on this page, I've done um, some, some of the flowers, the... Uh, ribbon flowers there I've made some stick pins um, I've this is actually off of a dressing gown there was three of them and bought the whole dressing it's like a satin dressing gown so I'm using the fabric as well so I just cut one of the appliques off and then used this which was another uh, which was gifted to me from Tanya O'Keefe um, in a swap so you turn the page here and then this is another one of the napkins like I said I don't want to um, cover up the embroidery that you get because I think it looks really nice um, use some of this lace here this was from um, Lynn Kent who's Bead Fairy 1 on YouTube uh, this is part of a doily that I've cut up and then some of a uh, necklace that I bought and then a little heart um like pearl flat back and then a femo frame and then a picture and then on this side i've got some of this lace that i got from uh brenda exeter on facebook and then these ribbon roses again and then some more stick pins and then this i don't know if you can see that in the background there this actually was gifted to me well actually yeah it was uh no it was I won it and it I mean we're talking about oh, two years ago when I first started doing challenges and things and it was a challenge over at M's 
um, on her uh, channel and it was to do a layout and she sent me loads of like lace cuts and things like that and I've never used it and it just it just fit perfect in here so I've used a little bit of that and then turn the page and then on here we've got um, this I bought this as a it's like a piece a sample piece from a charity shop it was. it was they just had a whole load of different fabrics and it's like a taffeta and it had all different colors of this like um, embroidered flower on so which is a bit like a doily so I pop that on that side so then uh, Janet can pop whatever she likes on there or what have you and then I've put some more flowers and then I've left these pins here plain and then Janet can do what she likes with those and then there's another flower here with some lace and then this is vintage lace around the bottom and then another one of Yv uh, Yvonne um, oh, Fiona's um, inspired centres and then like I say I just left that side and then I've popped some lace down the side there and that is my fabric lace book for my swap on crafty swappers pop over and have a look uh we're, there's a lovely bunch of ladies there um there's a few rules and regs and things but it's all to keep everybody up and running and all these fun swaps and everything and i've i really have enjoyed doing this one actually it was um it was a good one to do so that's my lace book and i hope you're having a good day and keep crafting